Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Here we are in this video. We're going to be creating the function that creates our character for us. So we can do it a little more custom. It's not going to be that hard of a, a function to make. Then we're going to go ahead into our game state here or our main menu and all this stuff and just clean out this GUI things because we're going to be adding color to our GUI very soon and I want to be able to do that before we get into all this um, or before we add a lot of more of these console rights because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these into the GUI functions directly so it's going to be a little easier for us. Uh, anyway let's create this function right here ahead of input so void create create character here we go and this is just a state function so it's very simple for us um, void private or private void sorry private void create character and these are private functions so I might want to put them here here we go variables am I recording bro yes okay so this is a character creator and it's gonna create my character for me I'm gonna control X all this and just do this create character and that's gonna add it in and let's put that in there and character created is great very nice now obviously we're gonna need to get some input from the player uh, or you or the character whatever and get the name of the character and it's going to be pretty cool maybe you want to add a description as well all that stuff so we're going to be working on this in just a minute but at least that's going to work so before i do that we're going to have to change all of this we're going to string format all this but also instead of return we're going to do console dot write our string directly so we don't have to call that outside and this is just going to be a void then we want to do that to all our functions console.write string uh, and I know this might seem a little tedious but this is going to help us out when we're working with colors I should have thought of this before I'm sorry but we're going to have to redo this but maybe it's a good thing maybe you'll see why we're doing it this way just remove the return here write string instead good 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 we're still formatting it so it doesn't matter now the only problem is if we go back to our wherever we have console right line and we're using GUI stuff uh, we're gonna have to remove the right line so let's start with game state here and remove everything that has to do with the right line in front of these and it's gonna just pop up as red so you don't have to worry too much uh, like this and obviously the end parentheses so no that wasn't that tedious not that hard and then character creator probably just have the announcement here and the menu options so what you could do is you could just click here and alt click remove all of that at once oh shit I forgot the parentheses here okay and just to end parentheses. I always forget these nice little shortcut things you can do. Um, but anyway, there we go. Go to GY here and go to your announcement, for example. And here we have this parentheses here. I'm going to remove that and maybe add a slash tab here. Just to tab in once. And let me show you how this is going to work. So console dot set or color foreground color equals console dot color uh, let's see console dot or let's see color I think it was console color sorry about that dot let's set it to yellow as of now and then we're gonna just do a little console 
console.reset color right after we write it out. So this is going to show me something in that certain color. Now let's try that on our titles because there's a lot of titles. Console.reset color. And instead of yellow, we're going to do blue, maybe cyan, just to see how that looks. So if we run this, hopefully you'll see a cyan title. Uh, maybe not yet. Of course, I did that on title and not menu title. So that works. If we run this, I'll show you guys. Main menu is now blue. If we go to any main menu character creator, it's going to be blue. So that is very nice for us. A little color is going to be cool. We're going to be working with color a lot more later. Uh, but for now, this is, you know, this is fine. We'll just figure out some colors later. If you want to, you can add your own colors to these. Any colors you want. I, I bet you can change this up with RGB as well. Yeah, we'll look into that. Uh, but this will make it a lot easier for us to keep color, print out stuff a lot easier, and it's going to be cool. The only thing I want to do now is to work on this beautiful character creator. So the first thing is going to be string name, all right, like that. And let's just say that we'll get a name, gy dot get input um, input character name, like that. And then gy. We're just going to do this. Set the character using that name variable. Name. Uh, good. And then string description. And then maybe we'll get a little input from that as well. Can I put name? Uh, let's see. Oh, that returns a string. My bad. So name equals that description equals this. Okay. Input description for character. And then we'll just do a name there. Obviously, we need to get in the description as well. Level XP name private string description like that now now description is just going to be like a little whatever you want to call it i mean pff, you don't really need it but it, it might be fun to have if you guys are into that uh, description description this description equals this Okay, very nice, very nice. And we still just have return this name here. Whatever, we're good. We don't need to think about that right now, this moment. Uh, but what we want to do here is description. So now we can create a character. Obviously, we need to test this now. So create a character, new character. Okay, character created straight up. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go to create character, create character at one, and it just said that. So gy get input dot get input string format. Oh, okay. Hold on. This is just the the string of it. My bad. Uh, so that's not how that works. I forgot to do that. We need to fix this as well. Uh, console write string public void. Um, the string is fine. We need the color and everything. That is fine as well. We'll set that later. Uh, so that's how that was. That is input. And then we need to do a console.read. Uh, line name and then mm, 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 
name equals and then description equals I'm so used to other languages so this is yeah this is better okay so now it should be able to create a character for us create a character or no create a character new oh my god I'm so dumb uh, create a character uh, new character okay so character name la, 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 la. good all right all right so it didn't crash we're good obviously it crashes if you just press enter but we did we do need to add the try catch stuff to all this uh, I haven't done that I think but that's gonna be great so we're gonna do that eventually in a minute try catch is really good so we won't get any errors and yeah there you go guys and girls I think that's it for this video pretty much we'll keep working on this in the next one um, hopefully it's going well for you and just keep working hard. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.